Okay, so here's today's bullet. So the question is, what is quality? I think quality is a subjective type um, topic, really, because you could have quality bad play, <laughs> which gives you an advantage in the game because the opponent doesn't actually spot the advantages that they've gained, and it's how you then react to that and develop from that point on. And then there's quality whereby you're trying to do the purest of things, you know, trying to equalize what a computer would do in a particular game. And most humans can't play like a computer, you know, but you know, they, they can attempt to do so. And then there's obviously the quality of, well, just enjoying the game, enjoying the quality of the play. And so the opponent's just doing night moves at the minute. I don't know if they're really specifically looking for anything in particular. Just grab here. So quality of understanding the play, the game. And let's go here. So there's all different types of quality and it depends which one you want to aim for. Am I looking to improve the quality of my game per se in gaining advantages yes am i looking at trying to play like a computer type thing perfect moves no let's grab this um rook knight here because it's unprotected and king's got a flight square let's just move this over here right time wise now for me to look at the time let's grab this come back here he's got the fire pawn he's not taking the fire pawn let's go for that pawn Okay, let's just push here, concentrate a bit now, so it's coming for the back pawn, so we could in essence just bring this down, probably getting a draw then if we do that, so his rook comes back down, and let's just bring our rook here, just playing defence now, I didn't have to, I could just take that pawn at the top really and start pushing our pawn up. 59 seconds so the time's running out now he's got one piece so we can just maybe do this block off his rook altogether he's taken the pawn ah man missed that let's go here we've got so many pawns it's um quite pleasing to see so let's go here but we're going to run out of time if we start overthinking uh, let's go here see if we can block this off I think he'll probably end up getting this pawn but time's running down it's coming for the pawn anyway so I'm going to attack this one let's take and bring the bishop down and move the king so he's moved his rook can take moved his rook check and oh let's go for the rook let's take push push don't think it's gonna make it is it nope let's go here let's go there let's push and we went on time okay so that was a nice bullet game um, yeah the quality of things really and truly it's how you determine what you determine as quality and it might be a slight development in positional play and the way you place your pieces the way you move your pieces and so quality in its own right is really down to you how you determine it when others look at your games and they go that don't look right or whatever have a look at the impact of the game if you're still gaining advantages in the game and you're improving slightly in the game all the time and then that's your your quality so don't be swayed by others basically saying well you know you could have done this you should have done that or the evaluation tool saying you should have done this and you should have done that have a look at the game if you're playing a real person and that person hasn't taken advantage of any types of advantages that potentially were in the game then your 
improving your quality a bit at a time because you're taking advantage of those misplayed moves that you've made the blunders that you've made but hopefully you're learning from them as you're developing so that to me is a type of understanding of what quality really is okay just touching on what quality is in the blitz match now so we've done the bullet match so we're now looking at quality in the blitz arena so my quality is basically looking at the creative thinking aspect you know trying to tone that down and also then to logicalize the creative type of process that prevents me from delivering my best game so it's attacking towards our King Gary but I'm happy to castle towards the King Gary a creative brain was going oh we should start castling on the Queen side because he's got his knight and his bishop his queen all angled there uh, you know um, just attack the bishop now smaller piece attack and a higher piece can't be wrong let's attack the bishop now with the discover check with our bishop in essence they must take so we'll grab here obviously we're looking for this but we'll probably need to open up here first so we're going to open here first we're not going to rush anything take our time so almost we've got a nice attack towards the king area um, he's gone opposite our queen but he's got his bishop in front so i think i might get away with pushing onto this pawn for now okay so just take with the bishop so now he's opened up so if we take with the pawn then his bishop can go anywhere but it's not really got any meat on the bones so we'll capture and just bring the queen here when the bishop moves the knight's actually captured so we could we do have time i think to capture with the knight and then bring the queen off of the line targeting through to this pawn here at the moment i'm conscious we're moving a bit swift but we're trying to not give the creative brain too much space to make us overthink so we're logicalizing okay so now we've got this we can attack here but his bishop is attacking here so maybe we should just blunt the bishop first so that it doesn't have any play on here with potential with the knight attacking do we have time to attack the bishop his pawn's going to take our pawn takes back i think we probably do so let's go with that keeping it simple creative brain yes they're attacking but we can attack back it does capture so we're going to capture the bishop with a check on the king and we can take the pawn the queen will take the pawn back or our bishop can attack the knight with a check on their queen let's just do that keep it simple it does have this pawn that's elevated so we have to be mindful of that situation as well now he's thinking do i take the queen or not yes so he does take and then we can take the pawn back here so it looks a bit scrappy but it's, um, it's okay Look, we can support this pawn now with the rook I think nice and steady I think it's equal at the minute his pawn structure looks a little bit better we do have central pawns could push onto the pawn he just pushes past so maybe we do a rhinoceros head with these two pawns here so if we are pushing then if he does take then we take if he pushes down then we can take here trying to logicalize it at the minute it's one of those positions that yes so now he's doubling up he's going to double his rooks up here that's an interesting move do we want to bring our king across or shall we just push up and his rook is going to come around the back for this pawn i'm going to push up okay so he does capture we could capture with our rook our rook is then going to be defending this pawn here so we'll give that a try see if that works he hasn't got a flight, fair, flight square for his king but our rook is not going to be in any danger zone at the minute i think he's still contemplating doubling up here doesn't so we capture so he probably can come behind to attack this pawn but he doesn't take that opportunity so we can bring our rook here now protecting both these pawns and we're happy behind this pawn so he can picture his king coming across to protect and he doesn't do that so he's uh, bringing his rook up so let's br bring our king into the game he's got a poor majority on the far side so he's probably going to try and utilize that as best possible just push this pawn up here not putting much thought into it just looking at space gathering now 
okay let's just keep pushing that pawn up now we have a problem with these pawns coming down here because he has a majority on this side and our rook is babysitting this and our king is babysitting as well so we don't need to have both uh, defending that area because the rook can't come and put a check on the king it's going to have to go back to do that so it gives us space to bring our rook around the back and potentially start harassing some of these pawns so I'm going to bring the rook up and see what happens I mean I think he can still he's, he's going to be thinking of bringing his rook back because he wants his rook into the game we could look to attack his rook with our king which will force him back obviously and the closer we get to their king maybe we could get a checkmate with the rook and the king uh, that's a long shot that's a long shot so they've gone into a deep thing now so we can like we say touch onto the rook here with the king this king goes back maybe to here it's probably the best one isn't it we can push up again preventing the rook from coming to this side yeah okay let's do that so you can't put a check on so we can bring our rook across now attacking this pawn try and give space for this pawn to come up this activity with the pawns at the minute is a bit slow but we need to think about how can we get around the back or we're trying to give them things to think about because they do have this pawn majority on this side so it's a bit tricky I think for a not he's uh, always coming around the back with his rook eek okay so let me see so he's coming around the back with the rook let's take here put a check on the king maybe push a pawn up closer up it gets to being promoted it's probably more damaging so the only thing I can think is he's coming down for this pawn yeah to whip that pawn off but these pawns are so far up the board he's gonna have to come back to defend yes he has done I didn't even really need to bother with a check on the king really do I I suppose he can come around the back can't he yeah so he can come around the back here so we'll put the check on the king creative brain is going crazy it's going oh they're going to get down here he's going to take all these pawns off but I'm just thinking we do have Mm, that slowing him down because he's going to have to come here because he don't want us getting promoted <gasps> oh dear okay does he have a fork on us no he doesn't have a fork on us oh he does he does he has a fork on the queen okay but we have a rook but he does have linked pawns which are quite dangerous against the rook we do have this pawn that can go up so I don't think we need to worry too much just um, just to make sure uh, yeah just to make sure I bring the rook down it's always very cagey about these pawns here I don't want my creative brain to go into overload so I'll need to make sure that I'm trying to defend this area if he gets down we just get this rook down then we can start pushing this pawn up so let's move the king so let's get this here let's push and push and he's got the rook but we can get a queen I don't even think I want him to get my rook anyway let's go here and let's go with the queen let's go there with the rook well that worked out just fine let's grab that but he does still have these pawns here so let's just try and suffocate the king and let's get this pawn off the board make sure there's no stalemate whoa stalemate things he can still move yeah he's still playing on let's grab this pawn so there's no stalemates now so we can get another queen if we want and he's got space to move up and down so we can just um, put a check on just in case <laughs> and let's push and he can't go any further so we'll get another queen 
right, and just have to be careful, he can still move. Let's get another queen. Let's make short work of this now. Let's go here. And let's go there. And here. Nice game. Yeah, so we're talking about quality, my side of things, looking at trying to put quality into my games is around oh 1646 as well um is around basically developing right through from the mantra through to the answer process and then breaking down the answer process and finding out what it is that really is causing me a problem in terms of gaining advantages in certain games and it was the creative thinking side of my brain that basically told me about risks told me about concerns told me about areas that needed to be um, catered for but it didn't give me any solutions or mitigation options to say well okay this is what you can do this is where the logical brain comes in and links the two together and the logical brain helps to tone down the creative brain so that at least then i can make moves a bit quicker but at the same time i'm making more appropriate moves doesn't happen all the time but even in the bad games i'm still able to put in a half decent performance to say well okay i'm a piece down so let's see how we go from here and it those types of games uh, i genuinely do believe help improve my games when i'm a piece down or two pieces down i've made a bit of a blunder but then i'm trying to fight back and sometimes that fight back mentality shocks your opponent and the opponent then doesn't know how to win or they lose the advantage so those are really good games to play as well i'd like to play less of them but when they do happen it is quite interesting to see the response that the opponent then goes through so then i can link it to my own creative brain aspect and logical aspect if i'm then starting to get an advantage in the game um, when basically I've blundered a piece, I've lost two pieces or lost a pawn or whatever and how then the opponent is reacting to how I'm moving. So if I can then say okay I think they're being a bit too creative so they're not being logical so I can try and keep as logical as possible to then break down their creative brain then I might get an advantage and it's been working for me quite nicely so um, yeah. Quality is a subjective thing.